welcome back to more Space Engineers Programming with your host, Pilot Error 42. Oh goodness, that's such a mess. Oh my. So here is, if you remember, one of my first videos was a debugger. Oh. And it, it was, it worked in order to be able to see your debug without having to leave the uh, terminal window. Um, later, I posted a system that used the antenna, so you, you only used, needed one block, there was no setup to it, uh, and it would just work. Unfortunately, it would garble all this junk if you had more than one line. So, what do we have here? Text panels. Wait, first I'm gonna just gonna you go away. Oh, well, no, I'll keep that on. <laughs> Look at this a text panel. Look at this. What's that? That's a wide LCD panel and an LCD panel. Oh, that's right. They finally gave us a way to get in here and edit this text programmatically. So how's it work? So if you remember my debugger version 2, um, this all should look familiar. That's the exact same stuff there. But this suddenly looks a little bit different. Um, this is a debugger that uses a text panel, or an LCD panel, or a wide LCD panel. Um, as far as the code is concerned, they are all of the type I my text panel. Um, so in this code, we have a little. Um, well, here is our init initialization. We get a list of all of the uh, I my text panels, but instead of just saying put it in the panels list here, we will also throw this parameter in, which is this function. Um, any of these. Uh, get blocks and search blocks. Um, well, actually, it's just those two functions. Uh, take an optional parameter of a boolean function, returns true or false, that takes um, one argument of type i my terminal block. And it should return true if it should be included, and false if it should not. So in this guy, we return false if it's not in my text panel. And then we also uh, return true if the um, title, the, the public title, uh, which is one of the new properties, the public title, because um, they added public and private titles and texts to these uh, text panels. Um, as I can see how it would be kind of useful, um, especially if you want to put in some programming stuff in the private uh, that, that affects the value of the public, but you don't actually see it, whatnot. Anywho, uh, so this checks to see if the public title is, what is that? That's a constant, which we defined right, where did you go? Right here. So currently, any, a, the first text panel it finds uh, with the public title debug output will be the one that we use, and it does it in the exact same way as we did before, except instead of setting custom name, we write public text. And it has two parameters, the string of what you want to write, and append. Uh, just like this, append. If it's true, it just adds it onto the end. If it's false, it wipes out all the other text. So we don't have to worry about checking to see if we should append it or not. We just pass that parameter right on to the text panel. And that's lovely. So let's check the code. Uh, and there it is. First text, second text in a number, 42. Line with explicit append argument. And it does work. Why did I name you? So this one has the public title of debug output LCD. I'm going to copy that over to the best debugger, as I'm calling it. Paste that, check code, okay. Um, remember an exit does recompile it. And, huh. 
Well, that's interesting. Oh. You know what? I'm wondering. Yeah. Uh, there's like an update bug where it doesn't update the text. Because as you can see, it, it's supposed to show that as soon as I hit OK. Oh. What in the world? Did I not set it to show public? So let's switch it to none and then switch it to public. And it updates. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's a bug in that system, in the uh, text panel. Um, I think I've seen it more with the LCDs than anything, uh, but it's probably on both. So this one is a, and it even works with the wide LCD. Um, I'm going to show that in a second. So we're also going to just stick a whole bunch of text. And for clarity's sake, oop, what did I just do there? I hit control plus. <laughs> We are going to add a whole bunch of t text. I'm going to put you down here because because I can, can, can. There. Oh. <coughs> OCD. <coughs> uh, so our title that we're going to work with is debug output wide LCD. I'm going to exit run. And actually, let's see if Okay, so debug panel. Uh, action, no, it's apply. It's going to do on, off, off, and then a little live programming here. We're going to turn it on. No. It's not apply. Ah, eh, forget it then. Um, we're just going to have to turn it on and off. <laughs> Run it. Uh, wide LCD panel. There. There you go. It even works with the wide one. Notice there, there is no uh, text wrap. So when it hits the... That's nice. So if I get too close, it disappears? It disappears. And I betcha. Yep, there it is. It says. If I get too close, it says offline. <laughs> Don't touch. Do not touch the screen. Don't touch the screen. Um, yeah, as I was saying, if you uh, notice right there, the, the G is cut off and it doesn't show the rest of the text. Um, so. Format your lines well. You can you can change the font size to be anywhere up to huge and down to there. That's big enough. Yeah. That is not useful though. Um, the default size is 1.0. I'm not sure how it determines one is one because it's certainly not. A pixel. Anywho, yeah, so there it is. There is the even best, even best debugger system. Uh, I will have a link to it up on the workshop. Uh, if you search for it, you'll find it under Debugger by Pilotair42. That's me. Um, a lovely programming world saved. Um, yeah, if you, if you like this, leave a like. If you dislike it, leave a dislike. Uh, I'd love to see a few more subscribers and whatnot. Give me comments if you have any programming ideas. Uh, I do have some ideas for an upcoming Space Engineers programming subseries. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to release it as a separate, like on a separate playlist, as a separate series, and give it its own intro or anything. Uh, I'm a little lazy uh, to do that. But anywho, this is Pilot Air 42. It's been nice having you, and until next time, see y'all. Oh, and so I uh, figured out what the problem was with the text panels and LCD panels. Um, there it looks like there's a bug 
that it doesn't update properly. Um, if you're not looking, if you're not looking at them when they update, they don't always update. And even toggling the block on and off doesn't necessarily fix it. But what does fix it is changing the font size. So I've added this line here to the debug stuff. Set value float of font size to debug panel dot get value float font size. So it changes the font size to whatever the current font size is. So no change, and that seems to fix it. So that no matter how many times we run this guy, when we're not looking at it, it doesn't show the uh, offline. It doesn't show that. It shows that. Yeah, not that. That. Not that. That. Anywho, see you later. Peace.